morning, everybody. I would like today to walk you through quickly the Pixton.com website and show you how we're going to make our comic books. So as you can see, I've gone to www.pixton.com and I have a couple of options down here at the bottom and I want to choose Pixton for fun. This is going to allow me to make a free comic. So I click enter and I'm going to log in and I can log in through Google, which is what you can do as well. And once I do that, I'm just going to choose my account that is appropriate for what I want to use. Now once I get here, what I'm looking at are some comics created by other authors. These are great if you'd like to take a look. Uh, but to get started on your comic, you're going to want to look to the top left and choose this pencil button right here where you can access your comics. And this brings me to some that I've been working on. And what you're going to want to do, if you haven't started one yet, is create a new comic. And now we have the option of different layouts. I personally like the comic strip layout here. All the boxes are going to look exactly the same and I can add as many as I would like to later on. So I'm going to hit select. And now what we've got are two options. The beginner option is going to let you build a basic comic, but if you really want total control over what you're doing, you want to choose advanced. And so I'm going to choose that option so that I can do what I want. And it looks like I need to log back in. Choose that again. And up at the top are some tutorial videos. If you were to click here, learn a little bit more other than what I'm sharing with you today. But as you can see, once we get started, we've got a blank box, and I can add as many blocks boxes as I want so that I can create a comic. And before you get started, you might want to uh, create a title, and I'm going to call this a meeting with my future self. And you can be more creative than that if you choose to. So I'm going to go back to box number one and I am going to get started. Now my thought is that I am going to write out my script ahead of time so that I know what it is I want in each box. But right now all I'm doing is showing you how to use it. So as you can see on the left hand side you've got some options where we can add characters add speech bubbles, add props, or add a background. And that's the first thing I want to do, is add a background to set the scene for my story. As you can see, there are tons of backgrounds to choose from, and even within the ones here are subsets of even more. So I'm going to have my story take place in the Museum of Natural History. The question is, what room do I want to start in? How about this one. And just like that, I've got my scene set. I can zoom in or zoom out. Probably zooming out would be more appropriate. And the next thing I want to do is add a character. And so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose uh, a character. I've got some preset characters that I've created, but then there are also characters that Pixton offers. And I'm going to choose a character for myself. Maybe I will choose this guy right here. I wish I looked like that, big and buff. So I can take my character and I can move him wherever I want. I can also resize him. I can turn him around. Now, once you click on your character, there are lots of other options where you have the uh, move object, edit expression, and edit color. So I can change things on him, but I can also edit his expression in a number of ways. I can edit his pose or his expression. So the first thing I'm going to do is edit his expression, and I'm going to give him this happy face. But I'm also going to choose a pose for him where he's looking down, because this is something that I want him to do in the story. He's looking down at the floor, and he sees something. So to add a text bubble, I'm going to click here. And this bubble will become larger depending on what I type. So I'm going to just give him some words to say. Wow, 
What is that? As if he's looking down at the ground and seeing something. What it is, I guess you'll have to continue to read on to find out. Now, one thing I would suggest when you're using speech bubbles with multiple characters, always start from the top left. So if I were to add another character, maybe this king, and he was going to say something, I would want to make sure that his bubble was to the right or below my original so that I know the order in which I'm supposed to read. So as you continue to tell your story, remember that you want to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Let your audience really get into the story. And don't just focus on answering the questions that you have to answer or address in your story. So the last thing we want to do is we want to share. There are uh, different ways that you might want to do that. Number one, we could always uh, take a screenshot of our work and then share them as a picture on Google+. We also can publish our work. And if we go to this option here, we can then uh, create our link. And that's what we want to do. So we would publish now, although it's requiring me that I add a category here. So we'll put education, and I'll hit publish now. And what you've got is my finished comic and the link that I would put on Google+. And that is it. I hope that you have a great time creating your comic, and I cannot wait to see what happens when you meet your future self. Have a great day. Thank you.